Okay, in this video, we're gonna add an email field to our web app and send some email confirmation to whoever fills up the app. So if you remember on this add record view, if I go here, we have this, whatever this is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just simply just gonna add here an email field and have our user fill this up. And when they hit run, we will save this in the database as usual in our Google Sheets and also send an email to that person. So let's do this. I'm going to go back to here. First of all, let's go and find this form right here. So that's going to be our page HTML. If I scroll down here, first name, last name, and what we basically need is another row with two columns and email field here. I'll just scroll up and copy the first and last name thing. This one. I'll just scroll down, find this part just before the button. I'm gonna paste this new row. Here in this new row, I will just remove everything in a second column, leave it empty for now. In the first column, this is where we're gonna have our new field. And the ID for this is gonna be, I guess, email is good. We'll make it type email to make HTML5 validation work there. And that would be for this ID and we'll just say email. That's just the text for the user. So this will be our new field. It's an email field and that's pretty much all we have to do here. So if I save this, go back and reload this. Now we have our email and we now need to grab whatever the user enters there in our JavaScript. So I'll open my JavaScript for that page. Let's go to the part where we are grabbing all this information. Here we are. So these are the current fields we're passing. We're going to add another one of these for our email. And we'll just say email and the ID is email. Pretty much the same thing we've been doing before. And then we're gonna clear that on completion as usual. So same thing goes here. Now that should just grab that email and pass it to this object, user info, which we're then sending to our script. So let's go and open our script and see what we're gonna do with that. So I'm gonna go to code. Actually, it's not here, it's under functions probably. There we go. When the user clicks, this is that whole current line when we add a new row. So we're just going to add another thing to this array, which is going to be our email. So email. That's good. So, so far, this is just the standard stuff we've been doing. It should just add a new field and then we save it as a new column in our Google Sheets. So other than saving that in our Google Sheets, we also need to now take that email and send a confirmation email to that person. So to do that, we're gonna use Gmail app. And Gmail app has a method send email, as you can see here. And we need to have the email where we're sending this to, the subject and the body to do this. So the email is gonna be that same email that is here that's being sent to our script, which we'll have right here. The subject is whatever you want it to be. So for now, I'll just keep this simple. I'll just create a variable here on top and I'll say that equals to 
Thanks for your submission, I guess. And the body, well, that's just going to be the actual message that we're sending them. So that equals to we'll get back to you shortly. Where is my else? Now, because I have this apostrophe to avoid escaping that, I'll just use double quotes here. That's good. So right now, this body is going to be just text body. It's not going to be HTML, which is fine. So this should now, just by doing this much, actually work. Just to make sure this actually works, we need to first run this function to make sure we give permission to our Gmail app to actually do its thing. So I'm just going to run this function like this. There it is. That's the permission stuff. As usual. And that's normal. We should be getting that error because this is not supposed to run like this. I was just doing this to make sure I do the permission here for my Gmail app. So now let's go and open the sent folder in our Gmail. There it is. Uh, as you can see, nothing is sent right now. I'm going to go back and try to use this to see what happens. So just some information so that it allows us to send this form. And that and our email finally so any email here run it so let's go check our send folder and see what happened there it is so the email was sent as you can see and it says thanks for your submission and this is we'll get back to you shortly so that's pretty much a basic simple email confirmation that works already. This is our subject line. This is the body and it's being sent to the person that filled up the form, which was this email. All right, let's try to make this a little fancier. So we're going to make an HTML email instead of just a basic text email. I'm going to go back here and create a new HTML file. I'm going to call this email. That will be our email HTML here. So here we basically just need some HTML body. That's up to you what your email body is going to be like. I'm just going to keep this simple. So I'll just do a paragraph here. And in this paragraph, we'll say, dear, I'm just going to type the email for now, John Doe. And then another paragraph. Thanks for your interest. We'll get back to you shortly. Kind regards. We'll do a break web app. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So this is going to be my email. Uh, so in this email, I will have to customize some parts. So instead of sending John Doe, it will be the actual first and last name that we get from this form. So to get this done, I'm going to go back to my function. And in this function, this is where we do this Gmail thing. So before we do this, we need to create that HTML body. So I'm going to create a variable. And for that, we'll use HTML service. And we need to create the HTML from file. And we're going to do a template because we want to also change some of those variables in our email. So that should do this. So the name of the file is email. 
then maybe I shouldn't have called this body HTML template. Let's call it that. And then I'll take that and I'll pass some parameters to this. So I'll make HTML template dot F name for first name equal to whatever we get from here as a first name and something similar with our last names. So I'll do L name for last name and that will be the last name that comes from here. And these will be the variables we'll be passing to our template. And after we do that, we can now take that and evaluate that template to get an HTML output. And this is where we're gonna call it var HTML body equals to this. This will be the HTML body. Now we need to pass that as an object here to our Gmail app, send email. I don't remember exactly how that works. So I'm going to have to look up in the documentation. There it is. Let's take a look. Body options. So that will be something that's an object after the body and the object will have HTML body. Okay, that makes sense. So let's just do that then. I'm going to go back and add another object here in this send email. And that object is going to be just HTML body and it's going to be this HTML body from here. So the only thing for us left to do is to make sure we go to our template and we use this F name and L name variables there. So I'm going to go to my email template and instead of here saying John, I'm going to open my script tags and use F name. And here, instead of the last name, we'll just replace it with the L name variable here. And I believe that should do it. So let's just test this and we'll recap what we did. So I'll save this, go back to my web app, refresh this and try to do this again. So we'll do that's the email run it. So let's go check our Gmail and see what we actually sent. If anything. All right, so apparently, we didn't send anything, it says HTML output. Okay, so we'll have to go and troubleshoot this see what we did wrong. All right, so let's take a look at this. So HTML body, oh, apparently that should be a string. And I don't think we get a string in evaluate. So this should be after we evaluate it, we need to just get content probably string. Let's try that. I think that should work. So we need this to be just string format. So let's try that, save this, go back and reload this, try again. And finally, our email address. Okay, let's go back and take a look. All right, seems like we're good this time. Let's take a look. So it says, Dear Anna Smith, blah, 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 blah. Kind regards, web app. Awesome. And it was sent to the right email. This works great. So it works fine now. So let's just recap here what we did really quickly. So first, basically, we just had to make sure we have a field in our 
the initial form and our initial form was this one where we did this new email field and basically it's just an input field with an ID email. Now we need to grab that information from here where we do in our front end JavaScript in this page dash JS file. And here we just find that element with that ID email and we get the value that's typed in a box. Then we save it inside of this object user info with this property email. And we're sending this user info, this entire object to our script side, which is our functions here, user clicked. This is that user info object. We take that information now from that user info object, which has the first name, the last name in it and the email. So we create a new email by using our HTML service. We have this new HTML file, which is our email template. If we want to use any additional custom variables here, we just use tags here, the script tags and we use the variables we're gonna pass from our script side here to render this template. In this case, I'm just using the first name and last name. You could obviously pass more information and use it in this template as well. Now that F name and L name is defined right here when we take this template and basically pass those properties to it. And those properties in their turn are defined by using this first name and last name that are coming from our user info object from that submission. And then we just take that and evaluate that template to render HTML. And then because Gmail app send email requires that to be text body instead of just HTML content, we had to do this get content to convert that to text. And that creates this HTML body, which we're passing to this HTML body. And that's gonna send our email. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.